Howdy store owners, it's Josh Colback here for Advanced Coupons and today I'm back with a, a quick tutorial. I had an interesting case on a support ticket that I thought would make a good video and I'm going to show you how to actually implement this. So the problem is that the customer wanted to have a fixed coupon, say $100 for their coupon and they wanted to be able to apply that only to a certain category in their shop but not to other products that are also in the cart. So imagine that you have some t-shirts and you also have some hoodies. They only wanted the coupon to apply to the t-shirts to the even if the cart happened to contain both t-shirts and hoodies. Uh, and if the entire $100 wasn't used up on the t-shirts, they didn't want the rest of that coupon total to be applied to the hoodies. So that's the problem. How do we solve it? Now there's two, um, two tools that we're going to use. We're going to use the WooCommerce core coupon features and we're also going to make use of the advanced coupons um, cut conditions as well in the product category restrictions. So uh, I'll explain the difference between those two but let's set up our coupon first and we will get this show on the road. So I'm going to call this t-shirt 100 and it's very important that we choose the correct discount type here. So normally people would go for a fixed uh, cut discount but what we actually want to do is choose a fixed product discount in this case and we give our total amount that we want the coupon to be just as normal. Now there's two, um, two places we need to restrict. So on this coupon um, you'll notice these extra features down the side here. This is added by the advanced coupons plugin. Um, it's uh, extra coupon features essentially adding on to the, the core coupon features in WooCommerce and you can go to advancedcouponsplugin.com to learn more about that or just have a peek down in the description there and you'll see that. Um, so car conditions. Car conditions basically have to be true if um, the coupon is allowed to be applied. So in our case we want to choose this product category exists in cart condition and we want to make sure that they only ever apply this coupon if there are some t-shirts in the cart. So that's how we determine that one there. Now the difference between the cart conditions and the usage conditions, because you'll notice also there's this product categories one on the usage restriction tab and that is actually a, a WooCommerce core one there. There's two t-shirt categories for some reason, I'm not sure why, but um, Anyway, there's, there's two, there's a um, product categories section here and the difference between this and the product categories cart condition in advanced coupons is the cart condition stops your coupon from applying until all these rules are true. And you can also use this in conjunction with something like the auto apply coupon where it will check for these cart conditions to be true. So it's like a, you need it to uh, this state to exist um, in exactly this way before this coupon is allowed to be used. Now the usage restriction actually concerns what uh, the coupon applies to. So what, what we're defining here is what the, the actual coupon will discount in this case. Because we've chosen a fixed product discount is going to look at this, look at all the products in the cart and go, okay, which one are they belonging to these product categories that I have defined here? And it will apply the discount just to those and not to anything else. So that's how we achieve that bit there. Let's hit publish and we'll go and check this on the front end of the site. Okay, so I'm on the front end of the site here and I'm just going to go ahead and add a hoodie and I'm also going to add a t-shirt. So let's add those two products, we'll go to the cart and let's see what happens. So you'll remember that the, the coupon was actually for $100 and in my cart I've only got $65. So what I'm expecting is that the coupon is going to apply just to this polo shirt because that's a t-shirt and this is a hoodie um, which doesn't belong to the t-shirt category. So we don't want it taking this $45 off, we only want it taking the $20 off. So let's go with t-shirt 100 as our coupon code and apply that coupon and you'll see the coupon code is applied successfully because it detected a t-shirt, uh, a product from the t-shirt category in the cart and you'll see that it's applied only to that t-shirt portion of the cart. So that's our two rules in action. You can see in the cart conditions, we've got the product category exists in the cart. Boom, yes it does. And we have the coupon applying just to the t-shirts category. So that's how you create a coupon in WooCommerce which restricts to just the category that you want for the application. 
and also restricts the person applying the coupon until they've got one of those products in their cart.